Good morning. I hate coming on here looking rough, but I just washed my hair. Um, I am currently watching one of my favorite YouTubers. He does house tours. His name is Ennis. You've probably heard of him if you watch house tours on YouTube, but he mainly does LA. Right now he's doing like a chateau in France, which I want one day. So I want to see what it's looking like inside. But before I get ready to go out, because I'm going to help one of my classmates in my acting class, I'm going to go help her record some footage, I guess, like a monologue for her reel. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to do until I have to work later. I have an overnight shoot. I don't know how I got set up with that last minute. Um, wasn't planning on working today, but here we are. But first, I wanted to show you guys the boots that I was talking about in the last vlog that I ordered. They came while I was in Philly, so let's open it up. They're just some leather black booties. I think they're categorized on the website as Chelsea booties, but I need to see them again. I don't think I would call these Chelsea boots. Okay, I guess they do look like Chelsea boots. Chelsea boots with a heel. heel. Here they are. So before I leave out, I wanna try these on just to make sure they fit my feet. like. I cannot buy a shoe without trying on like three to four different sizes before I narrow down which size I am. And they're always a different size from the last shoe I bought. I never know what size I wear. Um, so I'm just going to try them on before I walk around today and my feet get swollen and then I'm questioning whether or not they fit. I just wanted them to wear with my jeans or maybe a dress because they do fit my ankle pretty well so it won't be this huge gap. Here are the boots on. I have on boxers so that's why I'm not showing my uh, full body. Not that I really care about boxers but I think they look cute. They are a little tight. I'm wearing regular footy socks with them. I got a half size up than what fit me perfectly so I could wear regular thin footy socks instead of having to wear um you know those stocking material footies but they feel comfortable outside of putting them on and having to get my fat foot into them currently on my way to pasadena which i had no clue that she lived in pasadena when i was like oh i'll help you it's not that big of a deal but still <laughs> I would have been a little more hesitant. Um, I also, I don't know why I feel need to say this, but I just did something so petty. Like for some reason, when my roommate comes in and out the house, she slams the door, which granted, when I close the door, I close it at a normal, I don't know, volume. And then I like push it a little more by where the lock is because it needs to catch. But instead of doing that, or maybe she hasn't figured it out, she'll just slam it. So when I left out, I just accidentally, but kind of on purpose, slammed the door loud as shit. And I don't, I don't want to be petty in that way. But like, why people have like, I don't know if common courtesy is the phrase, but they really don't think of how their actions affect everybody. Like, if you're not getting home till 11 something, midnight, or leaving out early where you don't even know if I'm awake yet. Why are you slamming that door and like not having a second thought about it? I just don't understand that. Anyway, I'm about to, I don't know. I get, oh, I have a podcast to listen to. I'm about to listen to this podcast and spend 30 something minutes driving to Pasadena. Our validation reports are terrible, really painful going through this process. And then the next day he texted, going bad so far, pray. Elizabeth responded, praying, praying continually. When the prosecution asked Dr. Dewan if he knew Sonny or Elizabeth were praying. All right, it's been about an hour. It's getting nice and hot. I'm gonna go for a run at the reservoir and then I'm gonna go, not necessarily home, but like back to my neck of the woods. So then when I am ready to get or go in the house and like hang around and do nothing. Ask it. I think he would've been very happy to be because very I have far a, away from this courtroom last week. As we've heard, one of the many the, tasks Edlin was assigned Theranos. throughout his Pause, Jesus. Listen to The Dropout, which is a podcast about Elizabeth Theranos, and there was an HBO docuseries, and now there's about to be a whole show also called The Dropout about her. I'm like very invested. That and like all of the over my dead bodies and Dirty John's like 
Tiger King, years before all of those became shows, I was already onto the podcast. So I'm like invested in all of them, even if the shows suck. But yeah, I'm going to go for a run and then I'm going to go over to the West Hollywood slash Beverly Hills area. I may grab lunch. I may grab a salad because I feel like I haven't been getting my, um, I could also just cook in the house. The shrimp tempura from Trader Joe's. I tried it for the first time last night. A1. Very, very good. And it comes with the dipping sauce. So I'm either going to cook myself lunch or go get like sweet greens or something because I really need to, I may just treat myself to sweet greens. I really want to just have a bunch of greens. Confirmed by the Theranos team. I had ad nauseum conversations with was like, you need to run this by your legal team. Because I had to come the back way to the reservoir instead of coming like straight from the city. Um, I just passed the Warner Brothers studio, but you can see well, I can see Hogwarts canceled because Universal Studios is right there. I love driving past it. And I'm always surprised every time. I'm like, oh my God, that looks like Hogwarts. It is Hogwarts. How cool. Okay. It was a, a cute thought <laughs> thinking I was going to get a run. I just got, I don't know if they're going to choose me, but I just got a request to COVID test by 1.30 today. It's 12.45. I got that request to possibly do be a photo double for Angela Bassett, which I've stood in for her before, but technically we're two different shades i'm like an inch or two taller than her so if they don't choose me i won't be upset as i was like coming out of the restroom to start my run and still waiting on that confirmation the show that i'm working tonight they want us to covid test prior where as before it was covid test and then immediately work which i'm not crazy about now i gotta go downtown and freaking covid test for it and then head back downtown for work later Ugh. I love that I can see downtown off yonder in the distance when this test is supposed to be downtown. Why can I see the skyline from the opposite way? Okay, my test is done. Um, oh, I'm starving. I need to go get like a gallon of gas or try to find a show with de decent prices. Because I have T-Mobile Tuesdays, I get like 15% off at Shell. So I try to like just go there whenever I need gas. But, um, so yeah, I'm seriously about to go buy maybe a gallon and then drive home because I have about, I have a hybrid and it tells me that I have like 50 something miles left to get home. It's 20, I don't trust it. I just don't trust it. I go over the speed limit. You don't know how many miles I'm really, you, I don't trust it. So I'm not trying to be on E in the, in the middle of the highway. So we're going to go get a gallon and then I'm going to go get gas, get sweet green and then just go home because at, at this point my day is gone putting in I guess instead of putting in a sweet green I want to go to I should oh let me search for a shell actually just to make sure all right hmm hmm let me see how I need to get back home and then I'll figure out which shell to so it seems like no matter what day of the week it is, or maybe it's just Monday through Friday, the gas station that I like to go to is always $4.29. So I get 15 cents off that. Everywhere else is like $4.60 or $4.69. This place was $4.59, so I'm paying like $4.44 for the gas. I'll, I'll just go ahead and fill up. The difference is literally a couple dollars, but I like to save all my pennies. Instead of complaining about gas prices, I try to just be grateful that I can fucking afford it. Currently ordering my sandwich. I mean, not my sandwich, which I mean sandwich. I know it's sandwich. Um, my salad on the app because I'm parked in a no parking area. So I'm just gonna run out to go get my um my salad. I'm gonna go for the chicken bowl, the buffalo chicken bowl today. Somebody recommended it. And I usually get the shroomami, which is so delicious. Hey, Sap. Um, okay, finish up. How do I get out of here? It's like they want you to pick a time to come in there and get it, but I'm saying, yeah, ASAP. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Ooh, $15. And I feel like the shroom mommy is about the same price. It's probably 12 something plus tax. So this is $13.95 plus tax. But the shroomami has like, ooh, I think it's umami marinated mushrooms and kale and king, no, 
Is it quinoa? I think quinoa and wild rice. That that freaking marinade, so good. So, oh, and it has tofu in it, which I usually hate tofu. Don't mind it in there. So, if you're a sweet green fiend, kind of like myself, I'm not there every week, but sometimes I just, I fiend for it. I was trying to see how much this shell is charging, but I think they're charging like $4.90 for gas. Um, yeah, I guess I'll show you guys my bowl when I get home, and then I'm immediately going to try and relax and get ready for my two hours of rest before work. We're just about to taste test this salad before I lay down and find something on, I don't know, Netflix or Hulu to watch. Hopefully there's something on Netflix. This is what it looks like. I'm assuming they put the hot sauce on here. Mm. I really like the flavor. They use Caesar dressing and hot sauce, allegedly. I feel like, oh, I see remnants of the hot sauce, okay. Okay, I wish it was warm, but they have the buffalo chicken. It's just blackened chicken. Pickled carrots, and all of their pickled stuff is hard as a rock. Are their pickled beets hard? And I don't eat beets, so when I tried it for the first time, I'm just like, why am I crunching on this? Mm, these are pretty good. All right. Nobody wants to watch me eat. So, I'm just gonna, oh, and it has tomatoes. I think I already said croutons. Kale and romaine in here. I think it's pretty good. I don't know if it's better than the, than the shroomami, but I think if I ever have the taste for this again, I'll just get it. But I love that the shroomami is warm. A little bit healthier since it's just tofu and mushrooms and um, I don't know that that umami flavor 